Assalamu alaikum. In the traditional Z plasty technique, the fundamental units are two triangles of equal angles and equal limbs and straight line limbs. There would be situations in which some variations for the traditional technique has to be employed. And this presentation is on the Z plasty with unequal angles. So there would be situations like this one when you have a contracted scar quite close to the eye and affecting the eyelids. And if you want to place one of the limbs of the Z plasty in a relaxed skin tension line, it may not be possible to place the other uh, limb in another relaxed skin tension line in this situation. And because of this, some variations to the standard Z plasty technique may have to be considered, provided that you still have an angle which, that is not less than 30 degrees, so as not to jeopardize the uh, viability of the tip of the smaller flap, uh, then unequal angles may be considered. In such a situation, the aim is for minimal mobilization of the skin beside the eye. You have one limb of the Z-plasty in a relaxed skin tension line, and the plan for the other limb is again in a, one of the extensions of the relaxed skin tension line. So we've created a flap with an acute angle here that's going to rotate a larger arc of rotation compared to the flap with the wider angle and that will bring about that extra piece of skin into a favorable position and with minimal mobilization of the flap with the larger angle. The drawback of this of course is that you create a small uh, dog ear or trapdoor deformity in the smaller and the flap with the smaller angle. Yeah. One of the variants of this technique is the single flap mobilization of the Z-plasty. After planning the Z-plasty, the aim now is to mobilize the flap with the acute angle with minimal disturbance to the flap with the wider angle because it's in a critical uh, position. So the acute angle flap is mobilized by undermining, liberal undermining in there, and once the flap is created, it can be rotated through a wider arc to fill into the desired position. In other situations where it is not contraindicated to mobilize the flap with a wider angle, the two flaps can be fully mobilized by undermining and then transposed in the usual manner. And it would be clear that the flap with a wider angle is rotated in a smaller arc compared to the other flap with the acute angle which would rotate on a larger arc and once in position you will find a small dog ear deformity in there that should be sorted by one of the methods of flattening of the dog ear but now you have an z plasty with unequal angles in position so that's a simple a modification of the standard z plasty technique that can be used in situations where you don't want to mobilize the flap with the wider angles or if you don't have much space or enough skin to have the traditional uh, equilateral triangles of the 60 degrees z plasty. Salam alaikum.